When it comes to the ever-expanding world of micro 9mm pistols for concealed carry, you've got quite a lot of options. Outside of the usual suspects like Glock, Sig, and Smith & Wesson, there are a lot of peripheral manufacturers submitting their own compact designs. So join us as we explore the very best micro 9mm pistols on the market today. A 1911 legend joins the ranks of the striker-fired subcompact 9mm with the Kimber R7 Mako. Is it any good? Yes, it seems so, and we love the slide that's ready for red dot sights, but it comes standard with tritium night sights as well. The glass-filled nylon frame has a stainless steel central block, and the slide is stainless with a black FNC finish. The pistol's controls are fully ambidextrous, and each Mako ships with one flush-fitting 11-round magazine plus an extended 13-round mag. Kimber offers the Mako with a crimson trace optic already installed, too but the standard optics ready model has an MSRP of $599. Up next is the Smith & Wesson's M&P Shield Plus. Configured similarly to the old model, the Plus has a distinctive capacity advantage with 13 plus one on board. That's more than enough to handle nearly any life or death situation. Smith & Wesson offers two models of the pistol, standard and a dolled up version from its performance center. The goods on the ladder, besides having a souped-up trigger, the pistol's optics ready and even available with a factory-installed Crimson Trace red dot. There's quite a price difference with the standard running $499 and the PC model $630. Has the Hellcat Micro Compact dethroned the SIG? Yes, finally we think that Hellcat OSP is the king of the highest capacity Micro Compact handgun. Not everybody will agree, and they might have valid reasons for the small package dispute, but for us, the versatility and level of engineering that goes into this Hellcat Micro Compact 6-inch polymer pistol take it to the top. The Hellcat OSB comes with optics cut for a new micro red dot optics that could well be the Hex Wasp. That seems like overkill, but a lot of older shooters have discovered the beauty of a 9mm handgun paired with a snag-free reflex sight. It goes to town on the slide work with the Hellcat OSP and adaptive grip texture compared to the likes of Glock. It's a nicer grip angle and that adaptive grip texturing is better than the old grip zone, especially with a flush fit magazine. You can opt for a pinky extension mag or more rounds. As for that staggered, almost double stack magazine capacity, it's a clever thing indeed. This is best in class capacity and that's a big selling point as is the dual captive recoil spring that helps contain the muzzle flip. We love the Springfield Armory Hellcat Micro 9mm pistols harder than most here, and it's a great choice for your everyday carry in matte black or desert FDE. The SIG P365 changed the game and was the undisputed champion of its own new genre for a good long time. The P365X Macro could still be the best Micro 9mm pistol to be honest, but it costs a lot more. The little SIG redefined pistol packaging and has since evolved into a lineup in its own right. The P365XL and P365X Macro are all stars a little further up the scale in the compact class. Now, this micro 9mm pistol is still the benchmark for the sector in many, many ways. It boasts 10 plus 1 capacity with its flush fit magazine and the option to up round on tap to 13 rounds with an extended mag. It has X-ray 3 day-night sights, comes in at 1 inch in width, and weighs 17.8 ounces. Hard to beat with the price tag of $599. Ruger joins the Micro 9mm fray with a pint-sized pistol that has the stuff to contend. More than anything, the striker-fired Max 9 offers up excellent capacity in a small package, feeding off 12-round extended capacity and 10-round flush-fit magazines. The 3.2-inch barreled gun is excellently executed with aggressive texturing on all grip faces and ample cocking serrations on the slide. It's a modern take on the concealed carry pistol to boot, boasting a slide cut compatible with a wide selection of red dot optics. That's plenty for a gun with a price tag of $589. Want a budget-friendly micro compact? The Taurus GX4 is an affordable, shootable pistol that outperforms its price point in many ways. It's a semi-automatic striker-fired pistol with a polymer frame, but like the P365, it has a fully removable fire control group. This micro 9mm concealed carry handgun comes with 11 and 13 round magazines and has a somewhat heavy but clean-breaking trigger. 
For the price, it's nothing to complain about. It has an alloy steel slide and stainless barrel with a slick DLC finish. The Toro acronym stands for Taurus Optics Ready Option, and it's a nicely executed layout. The pistols come with a cover plate installed, and the RMSC compatible optics mounting cut has removable pillars that make the gun compatible with some optics that don't have both sets of recesses. You can also go for the Taurus GX4XL, which is a longer version of the high-capacity micro-compact handgun in the same vein as the P365XL and Hellcat Pro. Okay, so some of y'all yelled at us in the comments for originally excluding the Glock from our list. So here we are. The G43X adopts that oh-so-familiar Glock aesthetic, although in a much smaller package than your standard G17. Being more minuscule than some of its siblings means that you're limited to a 10 plus 1 capacity. It measures about 6 inches in overall length with a barrel at 3.41 inches. Weight-wise, you're looking at just over 23 ounces. Like pretty much every other tiny gun on our list, there's some snap to this gun when fired. Again, to be expected, though. That said, it feels more controllable than the SIG P365 in my opinion, though. Overall, how does it shoot? Like a Glock, meaning it does what it was supposed to do, reliably and consistently. But did you really expect something else? FN has a strong pedigree of 9mm fighting pistols, and the reflex promises to uphold their reputation. It's a polymer-framed, semi-automatic pistol, but like a few others, it's fired by an internal hammer rather than a striker system. It comes with 11 and 15-round magazines, which put it firmly in line with other contemporary micros. It has a good trigger and a reversible magazine release, but not an ambidextrous slide stop. The frame has a combination of stipple and more coarse texturing and facilitates a secure grip. The slide's rounded so it doesn't snag, and the pistol comes with three-dot iron sights and tritium front sight. The RMD version of the Reflex comes optics-ready with an RMSC optic cut. If you're already a fan of FN's full-size or compact pistols, this will be a great one to check out. CZ USA's entry into the 9mm micro market is P10S, a 12 plus one-shot striker-fired pistol with a fiber-reinforced polymer frame. The pistol has a 3.5-inch barrel and is just 6.6 .6 inches overall length. The gun is 1.26 inches wide and weighs 24.4 ounces. The basic frame is black, but it can be had in optional OD green or flat dark earth for an extra charge. The only external safety is on the trigger, and the pistol has a new reversible magazine release. Sights include a tritium front sight for low-light, nighttime use, and the rear is serrated to eliminate glare. There's also an optics-ready version. Give Smith & Wesson credit for daring to be different with a hammer-fired pistol approach to the 9mm concealed carry pistol. It's good to see options, and we applaud Smith & Wesson for reworking the frame to create new semiotic 9mm pistols. Is it the best in class? Well, there aren't many real rivals, honestly, so yes. Is the Smith & Wesson CSX the best micro 9mm pistol? That's a different question, and the answer is probably no. You get a frame-mounted thumb safety, secondary trigger safety, and a flat face trigger, extended mag release, and the option to carry cocked and locked with the Smith & Wesson. It's an aluminum alloy frame and stainless slide and barrel that just kind of works. We like the Smith & Wesson CSX Micro Compacts a lot, and we think you might too.